What's going on, everyone? It's Hobby Hound here, Wolf Wolf. So I, I think I'm going to have a five-minute major called on me for opening 20 hockey boxes in a given month. Considering I was on a dry spell for a, a while and now I've opened a couple, um, it is always nice to go and get back into the product and, and uh, get to learn a little bit about the rookies in this 21-22 season. So this is the extended series. Previously, the extended series has kind of been a letdown because they have two series to put the rookies in. If you weren't good enough to get in the first or second series, the extended, um, I mean, it's its not like update. It's not like a baseball product where you're gonna have certain stuff in there where they wait. At least in the past, I haven't seen them wait on anything. And the reason uh, I guess would be that there'd be so much hype around whatever rookies, if they're if they're good enough, that they want to put them in the product. Um, I mean, I guess I, could, they, I haven't really checked in a while, so they, they could stagger it, for all I know. All right, so this box got, has the catchy upper deck bonus pack inside information on there. I'm not sure who this actually fools, but yeah. Eight cards per pack, six total packs per box. So, I like the other one, I guess five was what they considered part of you know, their retail product, but you know, that that's not really gonna fly anymore. They're gonna have to rethink that. I mean, that's essentially like the amount of cards you get in a hanger, and that's in a blaster, so. I don't know. Again, I always get back to my ROI on investment. Um, that's like saying LCS, uh, or local LCS. Uh, yeah, so, you know, to get the right return on investment, you almost have to buy hobby 90% of the time. So let me do a quick mega rip and I'll meet you guys on the other side of the fast forward. All right, so, you know, I haven't really opened a lot of products since the Kraken, where um, uh, the team itself was uh, created in the expansion. So, uh, I really, or was it a move? I'm not even sure if it was a move or an expansion. I think, who knows? It's probably a move, um, considering uh, that's how it goes. The market doesn't um, go too well for a certain team, and then they end up moving after uh, 20, 30 years. It's not fun for the fans, obviously. All right, let me get into this. So uh, there's no exact number of young guns you're gonna pull. Um, I think on average I've seen two, but I think that could always you know, be different. Uh, Derek for Forbort, <laughs> Tucker Pullman, <laughs> Adam Bokovitz, Cali Yarkit Rock. <laughs> uh, so this is a, kind of like a retro throwback. Um, What's that? Oh five, oh six, something like that. Uh, that's kind of cool that they do stuff like that. Sven Birchki. <laughs> I'm probably murdering the names. David Savad. Oh, man. How would you even start on that? Onridge Kasi? Sure. We'll go with that. Connor McMichael. I guess uh, if there were different trades and stuff like that. They could have probably gotten the extended series too, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, or late season call-ups. Jared McCain, or McCann. Austin Matthews. Matthew. SPX, so was it 98-99 retro look? That is cool. Uh, Cole Perfetti is the player. I'm not sure if they have rookies on these or if it's just like, um, you know, 
your veterans. I'd be curious to, to find out. Hayden Flurry, is that Theo's, some relative of Theo? Maybe. There's Dougie Hamilton again. Joe Thornton, another, he's gonna have crazy mad seasons on here. Yep, 23 seasons. Father Time. Can't believe he's still playing. But he's, has some production. I mean, that's not bad, really. For somebody who's <laughs> been playing forever. Um, yeah, and it's cool that he's, you know, got to spend his time in the NHL and not gone to, like, Russia or something. Uh, Brad Marchand. Linus Olmark. Nick Bonino. Yaroslav Halak. Oops, I got that one flipped around. Vince Dunn. Nice, nice dazzler. Of Alexander Barkov. So I'm not sure are any of these. Yeah, I don't know if there are any of them out of the inserts are uh, rookies, but yeah. I can always hope. Ryan Murray got first Av. It's always a plus in these here parts. Morgan Grecki. Yanni Gorde, or Gord, I don't know how you say his name. Probably Jack Eichel. Isaac Lundstrom. Andre Valeskev. <laughs> Valsil. Valsilveski? Something like that, yeah. Thomas Chabot? Chabot? Probably Chaba. Cool looking UD canvas though. That's always one of the you know great cards that come out of here. Got the nice tactile feel to it. Um, and you can get um, young gun variations, which is always a plus. And Nolan Patrick, sorry about that. Let me pause that and turn that off. Alright, it's Dindin time, so that alarm was to let me know that it's ready. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this though, and then I'll eat afterwards. Tage Thompson, I'm guessing. Probably Tage. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Jujar Kahari? Kahara? Wow. Andre Caligli <laughs> Caligliano. I usually get that one right. Uh, but I think I just got messed up with the <laughs> last one. Um, Alex uh, Formentin. When they're turned sideways like that, it's a little bit harder to read for me. Uh, Jaspiri <laughs> could talk. Ugh. Yeah, that guy. Mason Marchant. Marchment, something like that. Parchment. Antone Roussel. Another cool throwback of holographics. Of Quentin Byfield. I like that one a lot. Really shiny. Um, it's nice that they're putting all of that retro feel to uh, the different series. We've got Carter Rowney. Brendan Dillon. It's like standard. I don't know if we're going to get a young gun. We can always hope. Matthew Joseph. Chris, uh, Chris Dreidger. Christian Dvorak. Adam Fox. Fooled me with that. Uh, looking like a rookie with his jersey on. There we go. Alex Turcote. Tercotti? I swear that I've gotten his card before. Maybe. I don't know. But the, um, the Kings have like stunk it up for so long that I would guess that they probably have some good draft picks in there. Now Mark Giordano again. Derek Lassard. Another Av. Got Miko 
Rantanen. Cool card. I do like how they have like different shots. Got the in action as well on the back there. So he's from Finland. I did not know. Colin Blackwell is the last card. Let me do a quick total and I'll be right back. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. All right. Again, not too many cards in the um, the uh, blaster box. There's eight cards per pack. A total of six packs. That includes the bonus pack. Um, the canvas cards are inside there. Obviously, the dazzlers. There's the throwbacks uh, to upper deck. Um, base product and SPX and holographics. So lots of cool different things in there. Uh, there were 41 commons with two abs. So score. Uh, one young gun rookie. Um, I see one canvas. Kind of a cool shot there though. And we've got a holographics. Uh, SPX. Like I was saying, it's either 99, 2000, or 98, 99. It's in that range. And then uh, the upper deck, 05, I think it's 05, 06. It looks to me like it's that. But then again, a lot of the look and feel of the cards kind of run together after a certain amount of years. There's like slight, you know, changes and stuff. Um, and as always, like the young guns and stuff, uh, there's hardly much of a change um, to their design. Um, I mean, it does match whatever theme they got going on. But um, there were supposed to be 48 cards, and there were 48 cards. So kudos to Upper Deck for getting that right. Um, if you're interested in any of these cards or any other cards you see that I open up, um, I have a sports card sale every Saturday uh, at roughly seven, uh, 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern time. It starts then and can go for upwards of uh, three to four hours. Lots of different cards. A lot of them will uh, start in the dollar range and then go on up. And I just kind of go through a stack of dollar cards and I'll go through a stack of $2 cards and etc. So. You can find a lot of great deals um, and a lot of cool rookies, autographs, and um, you know short prints, things that you may need in your collection. If you have any uh, question about what kind of stuff I've had in past ones, just go to the homepage uh, and under live, check out the past sales. Um, you can even put it on like two times or four times speed and watch uh, me or listen to me sound like Mickey Mouse and go through the cards even quicker so that you can get a better feel for it. Hmm. I like what you got. Good job. Um, but yeah, please uh, like and subscribe and I will catch y'all in the next video. Have a great week, y'all.